Hi everyone, it's me, Plantine Charlene, and I'm making a video today about my plants that I purchased that have arrived for the month of April. This is not one of them. This arrived last month, but I thought I'd feature it at the beginning. My cute Sananthe that I received from Plantarina. For the first time, I got a white pot outside of the growing pot. So here she is. All right, enough showing off for you. Let's put you back where you belong. And let's get to the plant haul. Okay, so let's get to the plants that I purchased for my April um, plant haul. So the first plant that I'm going to show you, I had two purchased two times prior. Both of them are gone for one of them. All that's left is this. So you guys kind of have an idea that it is a string of pearls. Yes, I am very happy. I'm going to put the video up here of when I received this and what happened if I can find it. But um, anyway, I am going to pay better attention to this one. I really like this plant. That's why I wanted to replace it each time that things went bad so this time I I promise third time's a charm I'm going to take care of this plant the right way the next plant I'm going to talk about is also a replacement plant it is my um, Monstera Deliciosa I have a cutting that's over there in the back that you can't see right now and um, I'll put a video over here of it. My coworker gave me this cutting and it's doing fine, but I wanted to get one of my own and make it something I took care of from Jump Again because I did such a bad job with the other one. And this is this is really an easy plant to take care of. I don't know why I had an epic fail. So let's wish me luck okay um my next plant i don't think i'm going to say this right so i'm just going to show the tag let me get my finger from in front of it there it is um it's a type of succulent and i saw this at the beginning of someone oh my gosh why can't i remember her name i'm going to put it down here but I saw that and I was like, that is such a cute plant. This one is really, really dry. Oof, I need to water that. I didn't actually water it since I don't think, maybe I did. Anyway, um, I really like it. I li it's something about succulents that I just have, I gravitate to and I'm happy I got it. So there that one is. Isn't that just really nice how it looks in the center? And it gets really big. So I figure if I do right by this plant, I will grow it big enough uh, where when I move um, to Georgia, I can put it in the yard and it'll just develop into something even greater than it is now. And next is another plant that I, I saw this plant and I was like, I want that one. And it is my, how do you pronounce this? Oh, wait, let me see. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong email. I'm trying to see my emails of when I purchased these um, plants. And I purchased this one from Pistils, Pistils Nursery. And it's the Ludicia Discolor Jewel Orchid. Isn't that just so pretty? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm losing a leaf here, but that's okay. I expected, you know, to lose something. It's probably adjusting to its new home. But, oh my goodness, look at that. I just absolutely love this plant. Um, oh, a new leaf is coming up. Yay! That's the first new leaf in my care, so I'm going to claim that. Now, this next plant, um, I have talked about it in another video, and I'm going to post that up here. 
you can't really tell right now what it is but it is a um, philodendron birkin I got it as a starter plant from uh, Gabriella plants and it was much smaller than this I think I've since I've purchased it I think there most of these leaves are new it might have been three maybe four leaves that were on the plant when I first received it and as you can see there's way more than that I haven't gotten any very variegation in any of them except a little in this one here but everything else is pretty much just green right now I don't know if where I have it um, is enough light but I am really looking forward to this plant growing and becoming a nice large beautiful plant I believe this plant is a conversation piece once it develops and it gets those nice variegation in the leaves um, I have it in this so so cute potty pot that I learned about through um, creative lady it was a video she did and she was talking about Pody sending her some pots and I said oh no that is too cute I must have that so I had gotten it uh, this is the larger one I'm gonna show you the smaller one so yes this is so cute and it says urban jungle on the front and as you can see that white wicker rope in there is what wicks the water up to the pot there's none in here now it just recently dried out but the soil is still a little moist okay so the next plant I'm going to talk about which okay let's see that now you see there's green in there that's algae that's building up because the the um, Sun is getting to this and I don't want to block this this is what makes this so cute is this glass container but I'm going to see I'm going to try continuously putting in some peroxide um, in the water and see if it helps break that algae from growing anymore. But here is my next one. This is another jewel orchid that I have. Mine doesn't have the glow that I've seen others have. I'm trying to make sure I... Oh no, I pulled the rope out. Okay, I messed up. I pulled it out. But anyway, I'll get it back somehow um here is the jewel orchid but the reason why i wanted to talk about this one again because again i have a video i'll put up there with this uh plant is uh that right there do you see that let's get that on focus come on focus for me it's going to flower that little thing right there it's going to flower, and I'm excited about that. So, um, I'm going to figure out how I can get that in there. I'm creative. I'll get it. So, I'm very excited about it. Um, okay, last but not least is my Manjula Pothos. Okay, which happens to be right there. And I'm going to put in a video now that will show you this plant up close because it's too complicated to take it down from there right now okay guys so here it is here is my manjula pothos plant when i found it in home depot i knew i was bringing that plant home with me i was so taken aback by the variegation in the leaves do you see how this leaf is almost one half is white, one half is green, but there's variegation on both sides. This one has a little less variegation in it, but still beautiful. And then this leaf looks like a golden pothos. I noticed that this, this plant has like different variegation in different sections. So here you see some more leaves that have just solid green in it. And I started to really pay attention to maybe the lighting was different wherever you know this plant was grown but I noticed that there are sections that have the more cream and or white color in it then there are sections like this that have a combo 
of that green and white on both sides of the leaf, or should I just say the whole leaf. Then there's parts that look like this that have somewhat of a yellow um, color in it, a variegation in it, but then there's a little cream there. And then there is another section where you see more leaves like this where it's white and green combination that is not the same as the other where it was half and half. But at the end of the day, this plant was amazing. Or should I say is amazing. And I knew that I wanted to take this plant home. And I'm so happy that I did. Um, I put it up here on top of my plant hanger that I recently purchased out of Amazon and there's a grow light that's on it so it's still getting light at the top so it won't lose any of its variegation but this plant is amazing I hope you guys like it as much as I do just look at that it's so pretty I really really love the way this plant looks I'm very happy with this purchase I think I paid no more than $14.99 for it maybe max was $16.99 but this was well worth it I would have paid 30 40 50 bucks for this plant so yeah there it is the pothos mandula I hope I'm saying that right I hope you guys really really like this video I hope you like subscribe comment hit the bell to see more videos coming Please stay safe and healthy out there, guys. Thank you for watching.